Now, sports from the First National Bank Sports Desk. First National Bank of North Platte. The bank to think of first. Plenty of results and plenty of scheduling and broadcast details on today's update from right here at the TV Sports Desk. Let's start with what's on tap for tonight and tomorrow here at the Rural Radio Network. It's the start of postseason high school basketball for the girls with the B8 Sub-District Tournament getting underway tonight in Sydney. Top seed Sydney opens with Alliance in the 5:30 game, and then we get to our main attraction, the ball game featuring two seed Scotts Bluff up against three seed Gearing. It'll be the fourth matchup of the season between the two teams, with Scotts Bluff already having won the first three. Plenty to play for this week. Gearing needs some wins to finish in the top 16. Scotts Bluff playing to improve their seeding for a home game this weekend in a district final. TV and radio coverage tonight from Sydney, and then same thing coming up tomorrow with the district final starting at 6 o'clock. One bunny bracket game tonight from the D212 sum, but other than that, the rest of the C and D tournaments get started tomorrow night. Plenty of stuff happening at the college as well. We'll have the Cougar basketball squads at Trinidad State tomorrow with Chuck Schwartz. That'll be on KOZY and KOZYFM.com. The women will be looking for their 23rd straight win. Softball and baseball finishing up long road trips to open their respective seasons as well. Today, tomorrow, and on Wednesday, they'll be out on the road. One or both teams will be. And it was a great weekend for plenty of area teams on the mat at district wrestling tournaments. Gearing came out on top in town at the B4 district tournament up at the college. They scored 166 points, five individual champions, and a total of seven kids qualifying for this weekend's state tournament. Scotts Bluff finished in 10th, and they qualified three through to state. And in Class D and C, some of the top team performances came from Bridgeport, Hemingford, and Mitchell. Those three schools combining to send 17 to state. This year's state tournament for all classes will run this Thursday through Saturday. That is the latest today from right here at the First National Bank Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell.